Good morning. This is Mrs. Lindsay reading her favorite book, Marsupial Soup Presents The Runaway Pancake by John Lithrow, illustrated by Jack E. Davis. <clears throat> this is the story of the runaway pancake. It begins with Auntie May, who decided to cook a pancake for her lunch one day. She went to her pantry, took out everything she needed to make a big round pancake. She took out flour and eggs, butter and milk. She mixed the ingredients in a big bowl, poured the batter into a patty cake pan and put the pan into a hot oven. While her pancake cooked, Auntie May did her household chores. She dusted, she swept, and she vacuumed the living room. When she turned over her vacuum cleaner, she heard a muffled sound in her kitchen. It was coming from her oven. It sounded like this. Hey, hey, let me out of here. Let me out of here. Auntie May gripped the handle of the oven door, opened it just this much, and bang, out jumped the runaway pancake. The runaway pancake had two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. He wore a naughty expression on his face. He rolled across the kitchen floor, across the living room floor, out the front door, across the front yard, out the front gate, and off down the road. Auntie May chased after him, shouting, come back, come back, you're my lunch. The runaway pancake answered her with a little song. He sang, no, 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 I'm too fast, you're too slow, pan, pan, patty cake pan, I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, rolled along with Auntie May chasing after him. Pretty soon, he came to an old dog named Trey, lying by the road, chewing on a bone. Old dog Trey looked up at the pancake and said, mmm, pancakes go good with bones. You're gonna be my lunch. And the patty cake sang, no, 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 no. I'm too fast, you're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan. I got away from Auntie May. I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, rolled along with Auntie May and all the tray chasing after him. Pretty soon he came to a cow standing in the hay field chewing on her cud. The cow looked at the pancake and said, moo, pancakes go good with cud. You're gonna be my lunch. And the patty cake sang, no, 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 no. I'm too fast, you're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan. I got away from Auntie May. I got away from old Doc Trey. I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, rolled along with Auntie May, old dog Trey, and now the cow chasing after him. Pretty soon he came to a donkey in the tall green grass. The donkey looked at the pancake and brayed out, hee haw, hee haw, pancakes go good with grass. You're gonna be my lunch. And the pancake sang, no, 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 no. I'm too fast, you're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan. I got away from Auntie May. I got away from old dog Trey. I got away from the cow in the hay. I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, rolled along with Auntie May, old dog Trey, the cow, and now the dog chasing after him. Pretty soon he came to an old gray wolf. The wolf looked at the pancake, licked his chops and said, pancakes go good with chops. You're gonna be my lunch. And what did the pancake say? No, 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 no. I'm too fast, you're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan. I got away from Auntie May. I got away from old dog Trey. I got away from cow and hay. I got away from donkey's break. I can get away from you, I can. 
And he rolled along, rolled along with Auntie May, old dog Trey, the cow, the donkey, and now the wolf chasing after him. Pretty soon, he came to a big brown bear sitting by a honeybee hive, licking honey off his big brown paws. The bear looked at the pancake and said, grr, pancakes go good with honey. You're gonna be my lunch. He was right about the honey, but he was wrong about the lunch because the pancake sang, no, 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 no. I'm too fast, you're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan. I got away from Auntie May. I got away from old dog Trey. I got away from the cow and the hay. I got away from the donkey's bray. I get away from the wolf all gray. I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, rolled along like Auntie May, old dog Trey, the cow, the donkey, the wolf, and now the bear chasing after him. He rolled along, rolled along. Pretty soon he came to a big hill. He started to roll up the hill. Pretty soon he came to a big oak tree beside the road. And lying in the shade of that big oak tree, taking it easy on a hot afternoon was the sly old red fox. Dun, dun, dun. The pancake rolled to a stop and caught his breath. He looked at the fox and the fox eyeballed the pancake. Then the fox smiled and said, you're going to be my lunch. The pancake threw back his head, laughed heartily and said, ha ha, no, 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 no. I'm too fast, you're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan. I get away from my teammate. I get away from old dog Trey. I got away from the cow in the hay. I got away from the donkey's bray. I got away from the wolf all gray. He even got away from a bear today. I can get away from you, I can. And the fox said, I beg your pardon. Once again, the pancake sang, no, 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 no. I'm too fast, you're too slow. I, I, I'm sorry, pancake interrupted the fox. As you may know, foxes are a trifle hard of hearing. Perhaps if you roll a little closer and sing a little louder, I might better grasp your meaning. And the pancake rolled to within one yard of the fox's snouts and a little louder he sang, no, 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 no. I'm too fast, you're too. I'm sorry, pancake dear, said the fox. I still can't hear you. If you roll a little closer and sing a little louder, I might better decipher your declamation. So the pancake rolled to within one foot of the fox's snout and even louder he sang, no, 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 I'm too fast, you're too. I'm sorry, pancake darling, said the fox. I still can't hear you. If you roll a little closer and sing a little louder, I might better just sight, better apprehend your explosion. So the pancake rolled to within one inch of the fox's snout. And as loud as he could, he sung, no, 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 I'm too good. The fox ate the pancake with one enormous gulp. And you think that wasn't a was the end of the story, wouldn't you? Well, it isn't. Because the fox looked up and what do you think he saw? He saw Auntie May, old dog Trey, the cow, the donkey, the wolf, and the bear standing over him, hungry and tired and panting and sweating in the hot afternoon sun. They were so angry at the fox for eating their lunch that they chased him out of the forest 
He was never seen or heard from again. And you think that was the end of the story, wouldn't you? Well, it isn't. Because if you listen carefully, closely, sorry, to the fox's tummy, you could still hear the runaway pancake because the fox had swallowed him whole, you see. The pancake was still singing his song, but it sounded different now. It was a sad and slow song, not nearly so cocky, not nearly so arrogant. The words were different too. This time the pancake say, dear, 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 I am eaten up, I fear. I ran and I ran as fast as can be. I got away from a teammate. I got away from old dog Trey. I got away from the cow in the hay. I got away from the donkey's bray. I got away from the wolf all gray. Wolf all gray. Even got away from a bear today. But that sly old fox was the end of me. And you think that? Where's the story, wouldn't you? Well, it is. Thank you for listening.